This is the app that I made in just 12 hours and the day begins at 8.45. There are many AI tools coming out to the public like ChatGPT, Dali, Jasper, Bard, Midjourney, and more. A lot of people are using it and I find it very useful too. But at the same time, I'm having a hard time writing the prompts for this AI to get the answer I want and the answer I need. So today, I decided to build an AI prompt sharing app just for fun and as a computer engineering student that hates coding, I'm gonna be doing this without writing a single line of code. But first things first, let's make the perfect working environment. Music and water. Oh, I look like a little bit tired today, but yeah, I'm tired. It's currently 9.46, Friday, May 26th. The timer is going to start right now and let's start building this application. First, we need to think about the name of the application. Mm, we're gonna call it... Let's see. We're gonna call it Only Prompt. A community where people share AI prompts so we can all learn as a compound to use AI more efficiently. Okay, so now it's time to make the UI UX design for the application. I am the worst designer of the world and also we're making this application just for fun. So I'm gonna draw whatever comes into my mind. And also before doing the design, I need to cover up behind the windows because it's too bright right now. And if I draw with a white marker, we're not gonna be able to see anything. I give up. I'm just gonna draw in a paper. This is the landing page um, and we're gonna have a register button, login button, the app name up here and three small squares just because design. The register page, the home page, lastly this is the profile page. Okay, so design is done. It is currently 11.39. Okay, 11.39. And it took me approximately two hours because I had to set set up the camera. I had to I had to think about how, how it would look also in the video. So that's why it took me a lot, even though the design is shit. And now before starting to build the application itself, I'm gonna get some lunch first because I'm really hungry right now. I just came back. It is currently 103 and now I'm gonna start building really right now. We are going to be using Firebase as our database because it is easy, clean and also scalable. We can add a lot of extensions to it. The main reason because we're using Flutter uh, Firebase is because Flutterflow uses Firebase. Users collection is generated automatically after we enable authentication so we do not need to worry about this but um, I'm gonna create another field in the users collection that's called word count. So basically what this field is gonna store is the number of characters that a user wrote when uploading a prompt. To be able to be approved in App Store and Play Store, I also need to make users to be able to report and block other users. So I need to make two more collections in Firebase, a collection for the user reports and another collection for prompt reports. Everything is done for the Firebase and now we build the UI UX based on the shitty design that we made before. Drag and drop, that is everything I need to do. So kid stuff. currently 6.31 it took me around like five hours to finish the front end only because um, when drawing the design for the application I did it like roughly so uh, when building the application itself I had to make make some changes add some new things and also I needed to change like colors also 
So that's why it took me so long to finish only the front end. Everything in the front end is currently done. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is the landing page, this is the home page, this is the category page, profile page, the login page. Time for the back end starting 6.34. There's nothing hard for the back end either because you just need to do clicks. You don't need to type anything. But um, the only line of code that I need to write is uh, the counting characters function because Flutterflow doesn't have a function to count characters. So we need to write a new custom function for it. But... Good. Let's continue. I just forgot how to do that. I just finished the backend for the last page and it is currently 9.45. It took me like, I think, 3 hours was it? I don't remember, but now we're gonna see if there's any errors in it. Um, we're gonna run the test mode. The test mode finished rendering, so let's register our account first. Um, this is alex.r1 at gmail. Register. Okay, so the registration works. And we have the profile page right here. Um, we have a, GI, a Lottie animation. So if we click, we can add prompts. And here you can see that we have zero prompt work count. So let's try to add a prompt. So this is going to be for ChatGPT and then we upload. We can see that the prompt word count changed to 41. Um, we have my prompts, my saves. Uh, this thing shouldn't be here. Um, I'm going to fix this. Let's go to home. We can see that our prompt is uploaded right here. We can edit our prompt. We can save, we can upvote and then an and then if we go to category, we can see that we have ChatGPT right here. And if we click ChatGPT, we're going to have our prompt. Then if we go to Midjourney, there's gonna, it's going to say no items found because we have nothing, no prompt for Midjourney nor stable diffu diffusion. And we can edit our usernames right here. Alex Lee, let's say 2023. We can change the username. Then we can delete account and also log out. Let's see. Log out, okay. I don't think this is important. Okay, so I'm officially done building only prompts and it is currently 1025. It took me around like 12 hours and 30, 40 minutes. And I am now uploading to App Store. It is still building. So let's wait a little bit for that. After that thing finishes building, I'm gonna be showing you guys the app inside the phone using test flight. And um, I don't know if the application is going to be live or not in App Store and Play Store. So if any of you guys want to like use the application, download the application, just send me an email and I'm gonna send you guys the tester. I'm gonna add you guys in the tester list so you can download it in test flight and in Google tester service. I don't know. Now let me show you guys the app inside the phone. so i'm gonna play a little bit of zelda before going to sleep i hope you guys love the video and if you like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye